All right, people, uh, we're back. Um, yeah, hi. Uh, this is the uh, wrong placeholder image, but I'm using a different uh, device at the moment. Um, welcome to another live stream. Um, this is something we used to do quite often back in the day. Uh, now, uh, I do apologize for the uh, lighting and setting. I'm not using my usual setup. Um, I don't have my work laptop with me right now, and I'm in my bedroom, so um, it's either going to be this lighting or um, you know uh, that lighting, which is uh, probably even worse. So I want some front light for myself. You know? So I've tried to equalize the uh, well uh, the light as much as I can. That seems to be okay. But um, the more the main point of this actually is to um get a better insight as to the colors we'll be playing with today this is a string making video and i want a fair share of colors so i've actually um gotten the lighting to work for the colors not for my face so my face is ugly i know that by the way new haircut finally so i look pretty decent um i do apologize by the way for the lack of chat uh i mean you can still see chat but it's not in the normal bottom corner just because again, I'm not using my usual setup and I can't actually see I, I can't get the chat working uh, on this particular uh, setup um, so uh, what's happening I'm making strings I've got four strings to make uh, but I'll be making one tonight and the one we're making is the um, chaser python string um, so for those who haven't seen the live stream um, we unboxed the chase of hearts in live and I'm, I'll be doing a video on the Python later but uh, I brought the uh, Python to the club today and there was a lot of ooing and eyeing at the club and uh, for those who haven't seen it yet I know um, the stream was quite early I was late for some of you but um, that is the Python and that, that's actually the color you see so Bit, a bit of a glare there, but this is the actual green you see. Uh, we noticed that in the uh, photos on the Chaser website, um, the green was a bit more pastely, uh, but this is the actual green. It's a matte green, not a glossy green. Uh, I know some people love glossy. I love glossy myself, uh, but a lot of people love the matte colors, and this is the matte green. How's that? I mean, there, there's no way you can not like this. It just looks so good. And after passing around to a few people at the club, uh, the general consensus was that this is a beautifully balanced riser. Um, very well balanced, uh, very well designed. Um, I've done the first impressions in the live stream. Sorry, camera's dead. Um, <laughs> normally my, um, my camera's down over here, so yeah, uh, like I was saying, the, um, uh, normally, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, I've done my first impressions in the live stream. And they haven't changed. They're still very nice. Uh, so that'll be the bow we are working on. Uh, I will be looking at making a mini series on Project Python, which will be setting up this bow to shoot from the basic tuning to everything else involved. But this is the raw live footage. And uh, what we're trying to do tonight is uh, make a string for this. And I need your help. Your help. Uh, on what colors to choose. I've got quite a few colors to choose from. You might think, oh yeah, green and orange would be the obvious ones, but let's play around with this um, a few, for a bit. So uh, I have the Python writer, and we have the Uka limbs. And uh, the Uka limbs do require specific length. Um, I do have the info card over here, so I can look at what length I actually need. But for those who had not seen the Uka limbs, um, that's what they are. These are the Uka EX1 EVO 2 limbs. Very nice. Alright, so hello to everyone in chat. Hi, Zamunashi. <laughs> uh, Nathan, hello, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I'll post my regulars. Uh, bonjour to our friend Hugo from France. Now, uh, the one of the things that uh, I, I picked up. Um, <laughs> If you watch my last live stream when I when I opened this, um, I I had this really funny gap where I I thought that my the bow was at the post office, and it actually wasn't. It was actually in my house. It was something else at the post office. It was my uh, my new Google Home mini speaker, 
And um, yeah, uh, I, I, I've actually been playing around with the speaker. It's actually pretty cool. Very sensitive. Uh, let's see if it works. Uh, hey Google, say hello. Ah. Cool. Uh, okay Google, uh, what time is it in France? Google. Hey Google. Uh, what time is it in France? Unfortunately, my um, my uh, duct heating is uh, blocking it out. But uh, I've got the volume down. Actually, we can pump it up. Um, hey Google, set volume to seventy-five percent. Sounds good. All right. So yeah, I've been talking to myself a bit. Um, and yeah, it's actually a pretty fun thing. Um, lots of fun with uh, <laughs> Google Home. I've been doing trivias and um, just testing out stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, hopefully with some background noise happening. <laughs> yeah, Google's camera shy. No, it's, it's more that um, it, it's actually, I, I can hear it quite well, but unfortunately the uh, duct heating is blocking all the um, ambient noise. Uh, we might get some work music going on. Um, and uh, that'll be a little fun. Uh, it'll probably get the, uh, the video demonetized, but who cares. So, um, let's let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Uh, so, what I want to do, I wanna, I'm, I'm using the, the laptop camera, which is a little, not, not, not very good, but I'm trying to angle the camera down a bit, so you can see. Uh, I'm leaning it on a Bible, which makes a lot of sense, and I do apologize for the washed out look there. Okay, that seems to work alright. Let me bring the chat back up. I probably should have thought this out a little better. Oops, sorry. Um, because, unfortunately, I'm working only one window right now. Um, let's see if I can. I oh know, studio mode? So I'm just mucking around with the um, my very limited laptop capacities. I'm using my alternate setup. Okay, that should be alright. So I can see some of the. Um, there we go. Now uh, let's check Google again. Hey Google, how are you? I feel ready to help. Anything I can do for you? Very nice. Uh, nothing, thank you. Alright, so... You're more than welcome. Thanks, Google. Alright, so... <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun today. So these are the options that you have, and uh, I'm sorry for the lighting. We'll try and change it a bit, but... Um, so we have the green bow, I'm here by the way, the green bow with the orange accessories. And I'm trying to figure out what colours to go for. So... The obvious colour would be the green and orange. Now this, let's get the bow. The green I have is dark green. It's not green that I thought it would be. This is actually a pretty good colour match, right? Oh well, you can see the contrast in colours. So I, I have orange accessories, which I don't have here right now, and I've got green uh, riser. Now. The obvious one would be some combination of these two, either one or the other. Um, and we have the possibility of green serving and uh, orange serving. I just bought a fresh orange serving there. So that would seem to be one option. Another option, I'll just hold this for now. Be careful with the chip in your paint. We have a lime green. Oh, this is a fluoro lime green. It's probably too bright for this match. Now, in, in, in actuality, what I'm looking at here is that um, <laughs> it's closer in colour than the um, than it looks on camera, but uh, that's an option there. Another option is purple. I haven't used purple very much. Now, this actually is a very contrasting colour. Green and purple plus orange. I've got a feeling that purple and orange will look really good on the bow. For n it, it just look really weird. <laughs> That's the only reason I think of. I've got purple serving as well. That also has an orange serving. So we can, we can go for a weird purple orange string. I've got plenty of string material and plenty of time. Well, not really. I've got to shoot tomorrow morning, but plenty of time. Um, white would look I've got, I've got white. So, yep, so white is an option, but white's quite plain. I mean, people have chosen a bizarre color scheme. 
Um, we could do white and orange. That's a, a very weird color scheme as it is. Uh, but white will look good. But white's too plain. Orange is white, and white gets dirty quite easily. Um, sorry, some question today. Um, one question about the custom Python string. How do you determine the length? Um, the Uka limbs come with an information card, uh, which uh, you can't see because everything's whitewashed right now. But um, it does tell you in several different languages uh, what the length should be for the, both the X curve and the curve limbs. So it says here for the 68 inch uh, bow, um, for the recurve, it recommends a uh, 1635 millimeter string. That's what it says there. Um, it does vary a bit with what riser you have. Sometimes the riser will change the length, but um, this is what the, what Uka recommends because it's a bit more curvature. So I'm planning on um, trying this, setting it up, and see if the brain site within um, acceptable limits. So that was the question there. It's gonna look horrible. <laughs> uh, orange and blue? You really? Why would you blue? Blue? Are you alright? Oops, I dropped it. I dropped the, um, the orange. Orange got knocked out. Phew, <laughs> blue? There's any blue left. There's not any blue. I mean, blue. Uh, I've got, I had plenty of blue. But blue was one of the top of the colors, so I think I've, um, I've seen some blue. So I think blue is out of the question, actually. That's what it is, isn't it? I thought I had blue. I have a blue list. Which is fortunate because um, people have been asking me to make blue strings and I'm not sure if any blue left. Uh, let me do another check in my box. Uh, the silver's nice, by the way. Oh, no, the, the silver's grey. Ooh! You got gold? We have gold. Gold's a nice colour. We have yellow, we just like plain yellow. So we've got quite a few cards to play with. And got black, but uh, I don't think we'll be going with black today. And we've got some pink left over. And we've got red as well. We've got quite a few colors to play around with. Um, that'll drop down, they have to stay there. And that'll be blue. I think I'll run out of blue. Other than that, I've left it somewhere, very obvious. It's just not here right now. I'll check my. Um, Fast fly, uh, my um, my Dacron box. It's not blue, that's Dac Oh, here it is, I got blue. I do have blue. Oh, that's a nice blue. It's a raw blue color. Okay. So there's quite a few color options. What should we go for? What, what do you think we'll see? So remember, the, the riser is green. The accessories are primarily orange, uh, metallic orange. So the Shibuya Ultima Rest. The uh, Axel Chief Sight and everything else is orange. So we've got green and we've got orange. What should we do, people? I've used white strings before. Um, yeah, white tends to get dark quite easily. Uh, dirt, um, wax will stain this string. Um, and just like the string brushing against your face, tends to darken quite easily. Um, not too fond of white strings. They're not, they're, they're decent. But uh, like, like the reason why most strings should get uh, black by default because it's the it's kind of the cheapest material to make uh, to use and it's the um you know it's, it it doesn't change color. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, Celtic Wolf, yeah, you've always made your own strings. In the factory made ones have always been garbage. Uh, the one you're using is oh red. So it matches your your red rise and black attachments, of course. Um, the orange unfortunately doesn't match uh, the accessories that much because the accessories are metallic orange whereas this is a fluorescent or fluoro orange. I mean the orange serving, this is basically the same thing. Uh, if, if, uh, if I chose, if I chose like a metallic color like this, this is pr a, a bit closer to the hue of the accessories because this is metallic gold. Uh, compared to metallic orange. Not the best match, but it's actually a pretty nice colour. I'm curious to how well this would work. Whereas the orange would just stand out. Good question though. Uh, I need some juice. 
grey and green striped. Uh, grey. You mean silver and green? Not sure how well that would match. Uh, I'll drink first. Um, I'm not sure how well that would match. Silver and green. Uh, that's the silver one, that's the green one, so, um... Okay. What do you think? Not sure, if, if the accessory is orange. Silver, silver and green would be pretty, pretty nice together. But it's too low-key for the bright green, I think. I think we need to brighten up a bit here, unless we go for the um, the, the, the bright one. Unless we go for this. Plain green? Yeah, plain green's an idea. I was going to be either plain green or plain orange. True, if we do have green primary and have orange serving, that might be a better option. Does it go and match the wooden grip? Just say so. I don't think I don't I don't think so. And remember, you, you hold the grip anyway, so it's not like you um, you know, you see the grip a lot. So I doubt that would be a very big factor. Um, uh, uh, you might be right with the the green string. If I do, if I do a plain, it's too dark for that. I want black limbs, but I think it wouldn't match. If I if I do a, 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 the uh, the fluo green or the lime green. And put orange serving. Would that be a match? Let's keep in mind I do have uh, a, an orangey gold clicker plate. Like, would that be a, a decent match? We could try that because nobody makes a pure green string with fluid green. They've always blended something else like a like an orange green. So people normally blend these together. So if you make a pure lime green with orange serving, that one might be crazy enough to actually work. <laughs> Go plain orange. Plain orange, Jason. By the way, good luck with the uh, nationals. I'm, I'm probably the only one not doing it, which is kind of sad. Um, yeah, plain orange. And we can have like a green serving. That's a possibility as well. Um, that's bright. You know what? We can do two things, right? I can make... A plain green and then use orange serving and then as a secondary string as a backup string reverse it from orange and put a green serving I think we'll do that so our primary string will be green this is because it's very unusual to have a, a lime green string I've only seen people blend this I haven't really seen people uh, bring it, um, make a plain green string it's very unusual to do so Alright, so we'll, we'll clip, I mean purple's nice, don't we do a purple and orange one day? That'd be a nice combination to have. So, we'll get rid of the metallic colours. So again, that's the, uh, the rise we're playing around with, so that should work. So I reckon we'll go with, um, there. Nice choice. Very nice choice. Ooh, fluoro orange, yeah, that'll be beautiful. We go for fluoro green. Yeah, make two strings, that's my idea. <laughs> Um, I, my, I still have the blue ocean wax, but I think I've used it up, so I'm done with that. I do have, I do have a fluoro orange wax. I'll go and get it right now, I know where it is. So I do in fact have orange wax. Lime green with silver serving. Ooh. For the cut for a grey cartel phantom. Yeah no, silver is a surprisingly good colour. So I've got I've got a matching um <laughs> string wax. There we go. Looking good there. Alright. I reckon we'll do that. 
Excellent. All right. Okay, I reckon we'll start. Um, so let's let's have some background music. I reckon. Uh, hey Google, set volume to forty five percent. Uh, okay Google, uh, play some Beethoven. Measuring tape. Man, it's been a while. Alright. Let's set up. Hey, it's for Elise. Uh, what was it for exactly? Oh, measuring tape. Oh my goodness, do I have measuring tape? I've been leaving my gear around. I'm not sure where all my stuff is. Alright, so I've got tape here. I've got, I've got one unit, but I'm, I'm using, I'm using a millimeters for this one rather than I mean, uh, inches, so I know exactly what to make. So, Uka, Uka recommends um, for 6 to 8 inches, 1635. So let's set this up to, to work right first. Before I do that, let's set up the jig. Uh, yeah, I will one day show my bird collection. That's a good question. I've got like 21 or 22 birds. I've lost count. I get more people. I get more companies sending me in things. Um, how's the volume by the way? Is it too loud? And will, uh, Google, will, uh, YouTube notice me, um, using copyrighted music? <laughs> I'm gonna watch out for the, um, the, the heater as well. Um, hey Google, change volume to, uh, 35%. Just ambient music. Ah, technology. Ah, we live in the twenty first century. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> fancy you keep your hand. Yeah, it was spontaneous. The funny thing was that um, I, I accidentally held the home button on my Samsung phone, and you know it's Android, so uh, holding the home button uh, activates um, Google Assistant, and I was having bit, I was having a bit too much fun with Google Assistant, so I thought I'd buy um, the speaker. And like the home speaker is like two hundred bucks, so I thought, well, we'll try the mini one. I don't need a home speaker. I don't, I don't have any um uh, appliances uh, tuned in. So I thought, well, let's start small, low, uh, low key, and see how we go. I forgot who this. <laughs> ah, aha. Yes, Jason, I, I was thinking of you, because um, I've got like four or five people asking me to make strings. Well, actually, no, it's like one person making four strings. But uh, I'm very happy to make you a string. Um, you are exactly what I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, no, if you want to make, let me know what string you want, and uh, we'll make it happen for you. That was a nice uh, black and pink string, too. Because now I know how to do it properly. <laughs> you are the, uh, the guinea pig. Oh, man. I actually really hope you do well in the Nationals. Have you used real beeswax? Uh, yes. Oh my god, thank you. The Assassin's Creed theme. That's it to his family. Well, see, Google Assistant's pretty smart, right? So, so I'm, I'm, I'll lean back. So like, I've been playing a few tracks on um, on Google Assistant, and it memorizes your favorite tracks. So once it finishes the song, it goes to the next one. That is not Beethoven. That is Assassin's Creed. That is NCS Family. Oh my goodness. AI these days. <laughs> oh, right in the feels. Thank you, Google. Uh, and there's my, my, my monetization. It's gone now. <laughs> Copyright claim done. <laughs> uh, hey Google, uh, change volume to uh, 15%. <laughs> there we go. I can hear it now. <laughs> With enough talking and background noise, we'll block it out. Uh, once the heater comes back on, we'll up the volume. That's beautiful. Actually, uh, hey Google, change volume to 20%. This is like, um, uh, Iron Man. <laughs> uh, 
We need a Java app. All right. Okay, so for the uh, the camera setting, um, you can see the jig. I'm not so important. You know what I look like, but it's a jig. It's more important. <laughs> Do everything to avoid the copyright. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, oh, Kitson, so somebody's using the, the Python. Ah. You're, you're based in Hong Kong, aren't you? Um, cause that, that's, that's interesting. Now, like, they're, they're doing really, um, a really, uh, good job of trying to spread more the Python, so that's interesting. Uh, favorite game series? Uh, I'd, I'd say Assassin's Creed. Um, not because, like, you know, every game is good, but it's something I've got a soft spot for. Um, well, I've played a lot of series, but I reckon, um, um, that's a bit of a pet favorite. All right, I found out juice. Damn. All right, doesn't matter. All right, sixteen thirty-five. That inches and centimeters. Wait, 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 wait. These are inches. Wait, no, the centimeters. Yep. It's a, a dual measurement. Whoops. <laughs> Didn't do that. Alright. It's been a while, guys. I haven't made a string in a while. Luckily, it's a one, we're making a one color string, right? So, uh, should be okay. So, I want 1635. I want that. 1635. We're pretty close. I think this was already set for a um, 68 inch string. We are actually very close. So, if, if I'm, I'm assuming this was already set for 68 inch, the last one I made, that would mean that this would be a shorter string. So, is that correct? Is, is, does Uka normally require a shorter string? All the text on the playlist. The Google. Is that sixteen thirty five? Pretty close. So it's what's so good for the camera angle. Like, it's weird for me because I then the camera set using the, the laptop uh, onboard camera. And the whole screen is tilted this way. I have to like look this way to see the screen properly, but you don't need to see me. What's more important is the screen itself. That is AC Origins playing in the background. And that's pretty close to it. Yep, alright. I think we're on the border. So that is 1635. So that is a slightly shorter than the user screen to make for 68 inch phone. Man, it's been a while since I last did this. Phew. <laughs> yeah, Gmail went up. I, I wonder what it was. Was it a, a copyright claim? <laughs> Alright, let's have some fun. How do I, how do, I do this again? <laughs> this is my ages. Um, <laughs> How do I, uh, how, how do I start from here to here? I have no memory of this. <laughs> well, I was teaching my cousins how to make strings, and I just can't remember how to make strings. I, I didn't watch some If only someone made a tutorial on how to make strings, right? <laughs> oh dear. It's like, it's like people who, um, like uh, singers, who like, haven't performed for ages, they Google their lyrics. Alright, let me try and try and move the uh the little truss a bit. There we go. Man, I need juice. I smell like fruit juice. So this would be a uh sixteen set strand string. It's only thirty six pound set. So this would be eight passes. Of one colour. Simple string. Although I kind of miss making tea colour strings. But uh let's warm up the water. Actually this is a nice green. I'm not sure you can see that on the um, the video yet, but once we thicken it up, this should turn to be quite a decent string. 
Oh, it's a uh, Mila Sonata from Beethoven. What an interesting mix from Google. We've gone from Fur Lease to Assassin's Creed. We're back to uh, Mila Sonata. Fascinating. Alright, that's uh, four pass. As of all people, I tend to forget um, how many I've done. This is like goldfish memory. Six. Seven. A little loose, we'll fix that. Be expected. Turn this. No, I'm Lucy Dumber. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. <laughs> oh man, time's been ages. It's not like this type thing, it's actually another round. Okay, that must have liked it. Righty tighty. That's better. Yep, that's acceptable. It'll be tight in the second pass. Alright, uh, direction is correct. <laughs> man. Oh, it's in ages. It's in ages. <laughs> yeah, the, the the latest Assassin's Creed games are pretty good. Uh, I actually, I'm looking for the Odyssey. Um, like, uh, I'm not that keen on seeing so many um, Assassin's Creed games released so quickly. Um, that was a trap that I fell into last time. But, um, like, I felt that um, Origins was a good formula. And if they make... Um, Odyssey just as good. I don't think it's a mistake. I think it's actually not a bad idea. I know some people I don't like the new, new direction, but I rather enjoyed it personally. I think the stealth mechanics were getting a little old, and uh, doing something different and new wasn't a bad idea. All right, we'll make this the uh, the bottom loop. Normally the top loops first before these ones with the bottom loop because um, while I do have both rotating arms uh, I might keep this because for the camera's purposes I'll flip it around so you can see the uh, the action up close and personal so this is it this is the um, the Python string project Python is happening to the sound of Beethoven Should have done it all tied up, that's okay. It'll be a run in the second one. And the string might be a little too long, actually. Because I've loosened, I've had, I've had too much slack. So the string might be a little too long. But uh, there's only one column. Or plenty of this column, too. 
to no stress about this. Not bad, not bad. I've actually done it incorrectly. I have the um, crap, whoops, whoops. I've set the uh, thing the wrong side. Actually, let's not. Let's put salvage to this. I've made a big mistake, I think. I've rotated the jig the wrong direction. The result is... Um, yeah, I've actually done a big mistake with this one. Uh, salvageable. Actually not that bad. I think it should just say slack. But uh, yeah, I've, I've rotated the jig in the wrong direction. Alright, I'll skip there for now. Let's tighten it again. Because that's a really slack string. Oh, it's just been a while. We'll pick that one up a little later. That's better. So what I'll do... God, I should really mess this one up. We'll rotate this across. This is salvageable. I've touched the thing the wrong place. <laughs> this is not the tutorial you wanted to do. Um, no, I, I screwed up. I put the string in the wrong place. Um, nah, we'll start again. We'll start again. Probably just been a while. That's fine. Alright, that was the warm up. That was the warm up. All good, all good. Toys are hard. <laughs> oh dear. That's gone. It's okay. It's cool. It's cool. Got plenty of string to play around with. I believe that is uh, AC Revelation playing in the background. Oops. Right, there we go. Play a Fortnite. Yuck. There we go. Yeah, I agree, sure. A lot of people like, if, if it ain't broke, they don't fix it. The, 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 the thing I don't like about the, the ain't broke attitude is that it, 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 some people need to redefine the definition of broken. All right, so in, it may be popular, but in many cases, what is old no longer works in a modern market. And that's the challenge which developers have. Because a lot of things that we enjoyed in the original Assassin's Creed games um, I didn't work as well in, the, in, in next gen systems and new markets. Because you also have to grow the market. You don't just um, keep the market old and stale. You need to grow the market. So a lot of the, uh, the stealth mechanics were quite, it slowed the pace of the game down. There are many things I liked about the, um, the original Assassin's Creed. That's what I want to do. That's what I did wrong before. I <laughs> started the wrong arm. Um, I mean, I really love the original Assassin's Creed. Uh, that, that's undeniable. But the, the thing to note is that, you know, things like, you know, uh, stealth mechanics, sneaking around. Like, do you remember the original Assassin's Creed? Like, Assassin's Creed 1, Altair, right? The first one. It was revolutionary for its time. The whole, like, sci-fi story, the whole Middle Ages thing, playing with real characters. That was awesome. But when you look at it, like, in hindsight, you had pretty tedious gameplay. I mean, you had things like eavesdrop on enemies and follow them and pickpocket them. And that's, that, that's not great gameplay these days. Back then, it was awesome. But now you're like, well, you want some action. You want, um, you know, more, uh, you know, less time to kill, for example. I, I do miss some things like the, um, the more personal nature of some of the uh, assassinations. So you really had to know your target whereas in the um, in origins uh you had like you kind of drop in to kill like major antagonists without realizing that you're there i remember when i first played origins um at the first um enemy i can't remember was it, was it the pelican or like, the, the first um boss you kill i accidentally killed him by stepping on his face and i didn't realize that he was the boss 
was normally some kind of boss fight, a really hard assassination challenge. But um, like the way you were meant to uh, beat him was to extract information, like uh, uncover some document in his house, which told you his routine. I didn't. I, I just happened by chance to go to him at night time. I accidentally uh, pushed the the, the the stop button, and I killed the um, the boss. And here I was expecting some kind of um, you know boss fight. So my first impressions of AC Origins was actually underwhelming. I mean, eventually I loved the game. That's um, six. Yeah, I mean I loved the game. But my first impressions were like, this is a weird Assassin's Creed. Because all the major characters you kill aren't boss fights. Apart from the, the last few. Whereas in the previous games, every target was like a real person. And obviously, you know, in the ancient Egypt setting, they, they run a real characters, apart from the historical ones. Um, so they had more flexibility. Is that eight already? One, two, three. Seven, yep. So th th there's there's less pressure to get it right with the characters. At the same time, you kind of miss um, having to intensely interact with characters to get it right. That's better. That way. What, what have I done here? Um, I'm doing this. That's fine. I'll go this way, and uh, I'll cut this one. Let's um, serve it first, and we'll cut it here. Yeah, that'll look fine. Hey, Black Flag. Now, Black Flag was a good game. Should I cut it now? I don't think I would. We'll cut it here. And we'll swap it there. That should work fine. That'll be fine. Good. I've got a good feeling about the stream. <laughs> the last one was a warm up, people. This is the real one now. This is a real pressure passing. Uh, that was a, a false start. That was the um, the dry run. This is real pressure passing. Alright. This is the bottom loop. It's all good. Yeah. This is a one color string, I'm not stressed about the other um, pattern. So, less stress is a good thing. I'm gonna snip this at some point. Let's direct rotate first, and we'll snip later. Tangled up there, but good all right. Yeah. It's a little skinny to my liking, that, but a very small loop. Slight error in judgment.
I'm, I'm shooting the um, the Southwest Archery uh, Scorpion Longbow recently. Actually, my favorite bows now are the, the Scorpion. Um, very quiet, very light longbow, and a very quiet one. I'll be briefing that very shortly. But they're very impressive what they're sending me. Because uh, I, I spent most of my life in recurves. So shooting a, um, a longbow is so much more quieter. So much more quieter. Or so much more quiet, I say. Holding it here. There it is. The bottom lip is a little too small, but the uke limb is actually quite small. Actually, uh, well, well I'll, I'll find the hard way, I guess. Um, I kind of went too small on the, uh, the the bottom limb. Probably will be easy to do, but I miscalculated the loop. But it uh, still should look fine. Looks fine. Not much leeway, but completely functional. No. No. Good. Flaws and all. That's the way. That's the uh, third side done. Alright, so we'll rotate the string, and hopefully that is a little small for my liking. I mean, this is the, the bottom loop, so this is the important one, the top loop is the one that has to slide down. You can see that the loop is a little small. Um, we'll see how it fits on the, on, the, on the loop clip. If it doesn't fit, we'll make another one. That's so much of this colour, I don't mind wasting a bit. Good tension. Very nice. This just straightens the strands up. This is two color string, which would be perfect. It's only one. That's fine. I'm doing my chat, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna rusty, aren't I? <laughs> uh, yes, Bobbly Book. I have made uneven color um, strings. In fact, I'm making one next. Uh, not tonight, but uh, I'm gonna order for one. Uh, they're trickier, but if you know how to separate the, the strands, they're okay. Uh, the problem is that like you end up making strand, strings with too few strands, and it gets really hard to get the color equally um, distributed. But uh, yeah, I've done it. It's just a little trickier. And once you get down to like two strands, or uh, well, four strands for one color, it's really easy to stuff it up. Top loop should be a little better here. Let's pick the pace up. We got a little slow for, for our string making. I mean, back when we made all the club strings and named them, we went fast. We were making like, you know, two or three strings an hour. It's taking our time with this one. But I do like the uh, the lime green. This is such a bizarre color combination. And I, I, have to, I have you to thank for that. Tension comes with speed, spin to win, spin to win.
much better loot. Then have to clear the table. There we go. Good. Very nice. the center serving on the G, but I can't remember what the um, the markings were <laughs> for the serving on the jig. So what I may have to do is to string it on the uh, the bow and then do the center serving on the bow itself. So we're gonna do a premature a premature assembly of the uh, the, the, the python. Oh man the orange and green looks really nice. This definitely stands out. Beautiful, that's good. That's a much bigger loop than the other one. It's turned out nicely. Not sure the length is right, but we should be able to get it within a decent brace height, which I can't remember what it was. Kitson, what's the brace height for the uh, the Uka limbs? Nice, that turned out beautifully. Ah, oh, look at this color scheme. Looking nice, I've got the Fluoro lime green with the uh, orange tips. You can't really see the orange in the light, but you know what it is. <laughs> yeah, making um, hey Loic, yeah, yeah, making fancy strings for the the Python, just the Python strings. Uh, we need a soundtrack. Um, how many strands for forty pound? Uh, sixteen to eighteen strand, um, Jason. It's a spin to win sound trap, right? So I want to pick the right sound. I'm trying, I'm going to try a particular soundtrack. I can't remember what it's called. No, that wasn't it. There's a, there's a song which I have in my mind. But I can't remember what it was. And I have no idea what it is either. Oh well, uh, recommend me some um some some high tempo songs for the uh, the final the final um spin. To the eclipse. I mean, Turkish March is not a bad song to uh, spin with. Nice limb, nice limb. Nice limb bolt. Put it on. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Leak spin, I've already done that. Mm. 
Alright, let's throw it back in your string this. Is my string too long? I can add more twist to it. That's a very short break time. Have a look. That's too short. Ah, oh, string's too long. Eighteen inches. No, it's um one eighty centimeters, no. We need a much bigger break height than that. Okay. So this one's too long. I can finish this, but it's too long. Uh that that's not uh, that's not a good brace height. So even if we uh, add a few more twists it won't get more than uh another half inch from it. Interesting. Interesting. Just for curiosity's sake, let's actually add a few more twists, but uh, I doubt we can get this within a um, reasonable length. It's a nice color scheme. I should do a proof. Now, I could twist it 20 or 30 times. Or just make a new string, it's shorter. More of an issue when you are buying strings, when you make your own, you can get away with a lot more. You don't want too many twists. Yeah, the loop is the perfect size, by the way. Like I, I thought it made a small loop, but the um, ukulele limbs are quite thin or narrow. I'm here, by the way. Oops. I'll be right back. I need a burst stringer.
ties back. Well, I, I've added around like 20 twists. How much does this make? Uh, stringing with bare feet is not really helpful. Now, I've added quite a lot of twist to the string. Got quite a decent amount of um, length there. Whoa! Okay. So, we just passed 8 inches. That's a much better brace height. In fact, we're getting very close to what it should be. I think about 216 was the, uh, the brace height. I should have, but it's more of a test. Let's see how much length I need it. So, we run uh, about eight and a third inch. We're still a little low. I think I've twisted. I do have a few more twists, but we've added about an inch and a half there. So that's a, a pretty big leap from the what we had before. About an inch and a half. We're just below what we need. Look for around 216 millimeters. It's reachable. We're pushing the length of the string. That's okay. You know what? We'll make another one. We'll make another one. It's a good learning experience. Good string. The color works. The color definitely works. But uh, you can tell us the big difference between uh, a low brace height and a high brace height. So let's use this as a template. Again, the advantage of making uh, your own strings, you can uh, screw up, make more errors, and make better strings. That's completely fine. All within reason. So how far off are we? Okay. Alright. Go even shorter. Drop it by an inch. So this is a fully twisted string. If you make the string shorter, we'll get it to be closer length. What we need. We want to get a good brace height. That's our, uh, our prototype string. Looking good. That, that will work quite nicely. The colors work well. I'm happy with that. Oh, should I do it? Should I do more strings now? Or should I do it next time, guys? I'm tired. <laughs> what time is it? I can't set my clock. Uh, hey, Google, what time is it? Clover, six. Wow, okay. Um. The problem with Justin Tillerbolt is that, like, I don't know what my tune is yet, right? So if I make a string that's just right with the exact adjustments, what if I have to change the tiller? Right? So uh, I don't know if the tiller is correct. The string, however, is workable. 
Yeah, we're starting again. <laughs> Poor man's blemish to his chat. I get that. That's about right. Alright. Let's do a second one. Alright, we have the legs down. Ouch. Oh, we have the legs down. We'll make it work now. We got this. Let's do this. First attempt didn't quite work, it was too short. Oh, no, too long. I felt it was too long, and the twist made it slightly better. But this should be on the dot. I need that, uh, that brain side. That would be the sweet spot for it. Get exactly right here. Round up. Hey Google, play the five centimeters per second soundtrack. Thank you, Google. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, that's fine. Oh, this time a nine though. Crap. Undo, undo. Control Z. Yips. Get that carried away there. That's okay. That's okay. Get the lines back up. Read the attention. There we go. Much better. Much better. Good color. Good color. This will turn up quite nicely. Very nice. Push it down. Very good. Wrap it around. Much better. Small loop, I thought was too small before, it's actually just right. I'll try and pick a slightly bigger small loop, to make things sense.
just get done. Take that really well. Here we go, second loop. Hard at midnight. How are we going, people? Sorry, it wasn't fun chat there. Yeah, good luck to people going to nationals, by the way. I know most of you watching probably are from Australia probably are doing nationals. I was the only one who isn't doing it, so good luck for that. Hey Google, tell me a joke. What does Santa's mother help with the ice cream? Elfish. Ah. Hey Google, tell me a riddle. Hey Google, tell me another riddle. Watch the beginning of the next video to find the spot. The purpose of the riddle is to answer a puzzle. Have a good one.
good. Looking good. So we'll put it on the bow, we'll string it, we'll add the center circuit, then we'll twist it. I think the brake has been pretty good on this bike. Quite a people. So that's the uh, the new string. Hey, spooky. So that's uh, without any twists, and we are all beautiful. We're just under twenty one millimeters, so we're on twenty point uh, nine millimeters. Sorry, centimeters. They be tiny, <laughs> very slight. So twenty point nine centimeters, or in other words, we're on uh, about eight. Eight and a quarter inch, uh, eight, and eight and one, eight, no, eight point three inches, I think. So we've got plenty of leeway, and this is no twist. So we've got pretty good um work there. We can add like ten or fifteen twists, and that would that should sit it right in the brace that we need. That's no twist. All right, so we'll serve this one, and then we'll add the twist. Very nice. How are you, by the way? I haven't spoken much because it's kind of midnight. Not, not, not being too talkative. <laughs> Go to the Olympics of the Sage. <laughs> Can't hear Google. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey Google, set volume to thirty-five percent. Okay, Google. Tell me a riddle. If a red house is made of red brick, has a red wooden door, and a red roof, and a yellow house is made of yellow brick, has a yellow wooden door, and a yellow roof, then what is a green house made of? Glass. Wrong. Alright, we need some um, music for the spin to win part here. We'll start it off first. The riddle was, uh, if a red house is made from red bricks, with a red door and a red roof, and a yellow house is made with a yellow door and a yellow roof, what is a green house made from? Oops. Looking good. The string's turning out nicely, people. 
Well, I may regret the choice of color scheme, thanks to you. The string is beautiful. The problem with uh, a Discord chat, Celtic, is that, well, the the archery Discord is already quiet as it is. Like, hardly anyone uses it. Um, I'm a much smaller person than, um, you know, Slasher Archery. Uh, actually, now I'm bigger now, but still, like, it, running a Discord isn't just an autopilot. You need moderators who need me to be in place, and, you know, I, I'm not interested in forming a community around me. So, it's a valid point, but I'm not that sort of person. Uh, I'm not. I'm just not interested <laughs> in organizing a Discord. Same with. Uh, I, mean, I could make a subreddit, for example. But you know, I, I don't want to build a cult of personality around me. All right. Let's get some uh, spin to win music. I reckon. Huh? Let's see. Hey Google. Play Final Fantasy VI Decisive Battle. Okay, playing the Decisive Battle Final Fantasy Hero Music Extended coming soon. Got it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Come <and> spin. <laughs> it's on the bow, that's why. <laughs> Can't do it. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> oh, snap, that's perfect. <laughs> I'm so demonified. <laughs> Try something else. Okay, Google. Play Chrono Trigger Lucas theme. Okay, here's a YouTube playlist from Chrono Trigger Chrono Trigger Rights Team. No, it wasn't the right one. Um, damn, that ruined the, the mojo. Uh, still, we'll let it play. Uh, Google. Uh, hey Google. Set volume to uh thirty-five percent. Ah, <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy VI. That's the string, by the way. So what we'll do... We're going to, uh... Unstring it. We'll add the twist. And then we'll, uh... Wax it. Okay, Google. Set the volume to 30%. Uh, 
list. A Christmas book, actually. Um, hey Google. Play Chrono Symphonic Too Far Away Times. This is awesome. Hey Google, set the volume to 45%. This is a beautiful song. This is from um, OC Remix. Classic site OC Remix, but this is a, a fan project. Uh, this is a remix of the uh, ending song. My favorite songs ever. Too many twists? I reckon. Let's undo some of that. Should be right here. Good. I think we're done. Brain type check. <laughs> That's uh, I should have undone that twist. Just under eight and a half inches. Or oh, twenty-one centimeters. I reckon I had a few more twists. Or oh, reach that uh, magic two sixteen number. Went overboard. <laughs> now it's 22 uh, centimeters. Uh, yeah, no wonder it's a little harder. 
It's looking more like a bow. You can see that, right? Like, we're getting more of a bow shape here. <laughs> Bowmeister. <laughs> That's a nice name, actually. Uh, whew. Well, we're getting somewhere with this. It's gone too far. What's Celtic saying? Ah. I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, I went a bit too low. We're on 21 point. Where are we? Yeah, about point. Point two. I reckon we'll leave it. We're close. But we know it's, a, it's within our range of adjustment. So we'll leave it here for now. Not going to do too many times. Next time we can note to um, add a few more twists. But I think we've got the right length of string here. Okay. That's our, uh, our that's my hand span. Whatever. T, the, the, the T, uh, the T square. Bow square. I think we're pretty good. So we're, we're within that uh, eight and a half inch. Yep. We're on eight and a half. We can probably go to around uh, nearly nine, or eight, at least eight point seven inches. Uh, inches, yeah, that's right. So we're pretty close. And if you measure it from the, um, if I actually clip it on. That tells a lot more. Yeah, we're very close. The rally is zero. We're around 20, 21.3 centimeters. Um, yeah, centimeters. So we're very close to our, our sweet spot. But again, we, we have to tune this um, to get a good closer range. Um, Celtic, are we doing a whole series, a properly edited video series? So this is just the live raw stuff. <laughs> you made a Lego serving jig. That's awesome. Well done, American. By the way, guys, some. Oh, that smells nice. This is orange. Orange, um. Stream wax. That smells beautiful. I'm in a very fruity mood recently, so. This is absolutely just right. By the way, guys, some old school stuff. Let's try this. Hey, Google. Play the Secret of Mana OST. Okay, here's a YouTube playlist called Secret of Mana Soundtrack 1080p. Ah, uh, yes. Talk about nostalgia, people. It's a 
very orangey uh, smell in this drink. And the wax. God, this is the best smelling wax. I mean, I, I thought the uh, the ocean wax and the forest wax smelled great because like air fresheners. But uh, wow, the uh, the orange wax smells like something you want to eat. I mean, if if you put the orange wax on a Tide Pod string, you probably eat it. <laughs> Sniff it. <laughs> yeah, sniff it. Sniff it. Smells good, doesn't it? Yep. Ah. I think we've done a good job. We've made one trial string, which is too long, but it's completely fine. We've got a string that is now the right length for this particular bow. I should be called the length. <laughs> Before I forget. Um, well, uh, it, it is an orange green wax and it smells like oranges, like fresh oranges. But more like orange spray. So it's a typical citrus air spray. Ah. Very good. Yeah, we're done. I don't have a knocking point yet, we'll put it later. But um, there we go. We have our first string for the Chaser Python. Uh, I'll take a photo of this in a proper uh, daylight later on. But it is a uh, fluorescent lime string with a sunset orange uh, serving material. And I think it matches quite nicely, especially once I put all the accessory accessory on. Uh, the accessories, I reckon we've got a very good match. Oh, this is gonna be good. People will be jealous of the string. All right. I was probably making a second one, like an orange one with a green uh, serving as a reverse, but I reckon we'll end it there. Um, we've got a uh, we've got plenty of time to make more strings. But this one's done. What do you think, Faithful? <laughs> what do you think? I like. Okay, let's uh, start packing it up. Whoa, we'll, we'll leave the uh, the bow here and I'll stretch the string out. So we'll keep in mind that the string will stretch. So we'll leave it strung up. Leave it there. So it will stretch. But we've got plenty of um, slack to play with. So we can always add a few more twists. Get it just on um, 21.6 uh, centimeters. But we're very close, we're on 21.3. Um, and we haven't tuned it yet. So we're not sure exactly um, how, how much more adjustment we need. So let's reset the camera. I can finally see everybody. Oh, they spilled my juice there. Good. Now you can finally see me. Good. So that's about done. I can move the uh, my rest. It is aluminium. Yep. String alarm to rise. I haven't done it yet, actually. Um, I haven't aligned the. Uh... Uh, hey, Google. Stop. Thank you. I'll leave it here now. Um, pick the bow back up. It is an aluminium body. I haven't checked the string alignment. But in most cases, it's pretty straight. So I'll try and get a, a straight image there. That's our string alignment. Ah, fourth place. <laughs> you got to shoot it. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't pulled the thing back yet. I, I'm so busy, like, you know, like making strings and waxing and getting the brace height. And, um, you know, listen to uh, Seeking and Sensu that haven't actually uh, pulled the bow back yet. All right, um, Eucalyptus with a fresh string. Holy crap. 
Well, making history here. That's hefty. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. He's got pretty powerful limbs. I wonder if I serve might be too low actually. I want to add more, but uh, there should be. <laughs> but my serving is like too bottom, but too on the bottom, or too short on top. I always do this. It's within a uh, reasonable distance, but uh, that's a little silly to me. Still, that's fine. <laughs> It'll look a little silly, but that's okay. All right, at least with the right length now. All right. That's hefty, actually. Oh, this actually doesn't feel much different from my 40 pound set. Um, the limbs don't lose much energy. I've got, uh, because I've got a higher um, brace height, it's actually might be the sweet spot of the um, the limbs. I haven't shot it yet, obviously. Huh. I was expecting it to be a little lighter. Because the whole point of me dropping down from 40 pound was to have an easy set of limbs. I may have bought a very good set of limbs, which is basically the same weight. Ha! Huh. That's interesting. Then again, I'm not using a finger tap, so it might feel a little bit heavier than I think. Hmm. This is really subjective. I'm actually not sure how much I've lost. Uh, it's, 30, it's rated 36. I also got a short draw length. So if we're going four about about four pounds down. I, mean, I, I probably can control the clicker much easier with this. I think this is about right. I think this is about right. Because with forty pounds I can just do it on a good day. And I'm not warmed up, I'm feeling pretty tired and I'm sleepy, so um it's it this feels about right this may be my sweet spot yeah i, I don't have a bow scale here right now true actually might be wound up it might be a point there actually it might be wound up because the bolts are in the bolts are all the way in of course it's wound up so it wouldn't be that far from 40 pounds it'd be probably like, like 38 pound um you know rated but i should i should measure on the scale but this feels wonderful. Whoa. Just the riser by itself feels really good. Nice. Um, whew, this could be a good way. I thought I have it easier, but at the same time, I don't want it too easy. <laughs> I actually uh, want some decent velocity in the arrows, and this is actually going to solve that problem. I think we've got a pretty sweet spot. I, I, I have to try this, um, you know, in, in, in the actual uh, range. So uh, until I set the whole thing up, I can't try it. Got to put everything on first. But all I need, really, is the arrow rest, which I've got here, and put a knocking point on. And it's very silly of me. I've, I've put very little space how much space do i have for the um the knocking point that was a little silly of me um i probably could have done a bit more than that that was very silly because the rest is there i've got enough to play with actually so not a huge problem what's good though to what i what i can't describe to you the, the bow feels amazing. The string is great, but the bow is actually really amazing. Sits very comfortably with no weight as it is. Mmm, I can get used to this. I definitely can get used to this. Because remember, it's a 1300, 1300 gram riser. And I've used 1300 gram risers like the Phantom, they're very heavy and dense. This is much better balanced. This is very well designed. And the 36 pound limbs haven't lost that much. And they're, they're probably wound in. So they're probably close to 38. That's why I'm not noticing much of a difference. Still, that is um, 
a very nice set. How's that? How's that, people? You can see that. That's awesome. All right, we'll leave it there. We'll muck around the wet later. All right. I'll take one last question, guys. This is this pretty late? Google. Hey, Google. What time is it? Didn't respond. 12.50, by the way. Phew. Yeah, the curve profile is a little different. Okay, how are we going, guys? I, I didn't read chapter last half now, but I think we're pretty good here. Um, hmm. So the X curve, interesting. The X curve starts with a compound, feels smoother at the anchor. That's interesting. This is a regular curve. But yeah, the, the curvature is a bit different. And it definitely feels different. And it feels just as, just as good as my um my uh, winner wind limbs. Uh. If if I if I slap the limbs on now, I, I think the forty pound limbs will feel heavier. But there's not much loss, and I feel like I haven't gone down that much. Uh, my original plan was to drop down to a fairly easy draw weight. I do have thirty two pound limbs, by the way. So if I, I feel that thirty six is too much, I can go down to thirty two, because um, Chase sent me thirty two pound limbs, so that should be okay. Thirty six should be well within my comfort zone. Forty pounds on the edge of my comfort zone. We've got that. Night, Jason, by the way. Good, good, good luck for tomorrow. It's going to take a few months. Like, uh, I, I'll be I'll be filming the entire process. But I've got a lot of things that need to come in. And before everything else. So, I'm not rushing this. It's the winter season, too. So, I've got, like, very little time to film anyway. So, I'm not rushing the actual Python uh, miniseries. Like I said, it's, it's going to be a proper walkthrough of setting a bow up. Sorry, camera here. Um, it's going to be a proper walkthrough of how to set a bow up, um, so it's not going to be like I'm going to rush out the video. It's going to take a bit of time to do so, but um, everything's already in. Uh, but I'm going to make sure that everything's done correctly before we set everything up. <laughs> uh, favorite Bible verse? You know what? I actually don't know the Bible very well. I'm not. Um, I'm atheist. In case you realize that, um, so I don't have a favorite Bible verse. Yeah, I did the same thing Celtic Wolf for the, uh, the wax. Um, I didn't do it this time, so I didn't uh, get my hands on it. There's not a wax anyway, but um, yeah, um, normal process to wrap the string around and push it down and get rid of wax. Interesting, Kitson. So, they the rate their limbs in the middle of the adjustment, so the bolts are screwed in, it'd be close to 40 pounds. You might be right. I've got plenty of. I'm, I might just loosen it later on. Because I'm pretty sure these come tight in. Are they? Are they? I'll play around the riser later. The whole point of today was to uh, make the string. We'll play around with fill adjustment later on. But uh, it looks pretty good. And you may be right too. You have a very good point. Yeah, no, um, I went to a Catholic school. So uh, I had the Bible from my um, high school days. Uh, but <laughs> I've done that talk, by the way. I mean, if you want to know. Hey Google, what does the fox say? <laughs> I've done it before actually. Uh, lots of fun with, uh, with Google. Anyway, I reckon we're done. It is now 12.54. We've been streaming for a bit, so uh, hopefully you enjoyed our time together. Um, we'll be doing a few more of these strings chills uh, towards the next few uh, weeks or days. I've got quite a few things to make, but we have in fact made our first string. I've got a lot of things to play around with for the uh, uh, the bow, um, especially things like uh, tuning, getting the tiller, getting the weight right. We'll figure it out as we go along. So, um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you enjoyed our. Uh, company with uh, um, Google <laughs> so uh, thank you all for joining me um, hopefully we'll uh, do more of this and more of the Python build as we go along but I'm going to shoot in around seven hours not the championship just a regular shoot uh, I'll be using the um, uh, the 40 pound win and win although I could just change the limbs out let's use the limbs so that works uh, we'll see, we'll figure it out. 
anyway, uh, thank you all. Uh, have a good uh, day or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you next time.